Fast Mode. I'm Tara Neal at the Network Virtualization and SDN Asia event 2019 taking place at the SENSE Expo and Convention Centre here in Singapore. With me, I have Nitin Wig, Chief Architect, um, Apex Centre of Excellence at Juniper Networks. Hello, Nitin. Hi. Thanks for having me here. Nitin is here to share some insights on the telco cloud uh, deployment solutions and trends in, in this space. So, um, without further ado, um, Nitin, can you share with us some of the trends in the deployment of um, telco cloud in this region, APAC, as well as worldwide? Sure. So, uh, the, uh, you know, this whole trend around telco clouds it started in around 2012 okay. with uh, the advent of, uh, you know, some of the telcos in uh, US starting to uh, adopt these clouds for their mobility use cases as well as for their enterprise use cases. What we've seen in APAC is that the, this, this adoption has primarily focused around mobility, uh, where we've seen that uh, you know, service providers had taken their EPC cores and virtualized them onto uh, you know, these vertical track stacks that they were getting from their traditional mobility vendors. So now uh, what we're trying to, starting to see as trends is that firstly, that these vertical stacks that they've built with these uh, uh, traditional mobility vendors, uh, they're looking at breaking away from those and building some horizontal platforms uh, on, on top of which they can uh, you know, do faster innovation, they have better control, and they can bring on newer services. So that's the first thing. We're seeing a move away from these uh, vertical stacks to horizontal stacks. The other thing that we're also seeing is that these clouds that have traditionally been very centralized, you know, in the big cities, into the metros, et cetera, they're now starting to get distributed. Even before 5G comes in, et cetera, we are already seeing uh, technologies like CUPS, which is control and user plane separation, so that the user plane is actually moving towards the distributed clouds which the providers are building. Okay, so those are the trends. So moving on, uh, when you look at this space, what are the challenges? you know, that are being faced by both uh, service providers and enterprises, um, you know, in, in building these uh, telco clouds. Yeah. So actually the, the challenges are kind of linked to these trends. So uh, the reason why these uh, vertically integrated clouds were so uh, lucrative for service providers is because they come with uh, some guarantees, SLAs, KPIs, etc. right? So now when you break this model and now you want to build these horizontal clouds, you cannot uh, expect uh, those SLAs or KPIs to go away because you still have a service to deliver that needs all of these SLAs and KPIs. So the challenge is how do I still uh, you know get the best of breed in terms of technology, in terms of innovation, etc. But I can also keep uh, the SLAs and KPIs that I had alive. The other piece is that as you distribute the clouds, uh, you know, the, the managing the whole ecosystem end-to-end -end becomes very complicated. So how do I ensure that I can have a homogeneous model that works not just for the centralized clouds, but also for the distributed clouds, and that I can do the whole lifecycle management of these uh, clouds uh, remotely, you know, without having all the complexity that's involved in management. So these are the two key challenges. Okay, so um, there are a lot of players in this, uh, in this space. So what will be Juniper Network's uh, unique value proposition? So uh, from a Juniper perspective, we are focused on building these horizontal platforms that uh, enable service providers to innovate faster and to be able to bring on breast of breed technologies on top of this. So what we're doing is with uh, Juniper Contrail, we are building this uh, platform that allows service providers to uh, break away from these vertical, uh, vertically integrated platforms. And we are working with partners like Red Hat uh, for their OpenStack and for their uh, container-based solutions to build these platforms. Then we are we are doing uh, we are bringing on board the the best of breed VNFs that the service providers want and pre-testing them so that it makes makes it easier for service providers to adopt them and then uh, along with that ensure that it's ready for today which is a VM based environment it has to be ready for what they have in uh, from a from a legacy perspective which is you know their bare metals their virtu their physical infrastructure etc plus you also want it to be ready for the future which is containerized applications and things like that so so contrail kind of goes across this layer and it does not just vms but also containers and bare metals so that is the value proposition uh, and along with that it embeds security and analytics as a part of the whole piece so that's where contrail uh, or juniper brings value 
So you have uh, touched a little about uh, you know what we can expect to see in, over the coming years. Yeah. So when it comes to um, telco cloud specifically, what are some of the um, uh, how how do you see it evolving? Like say if, uh, like three to five years from now, especially with 5G in the picture. Yep. So uh, what I expect will happen is that with 5G, we will see that uh, these distributed clouds are going to get more uh, distributed and smaller. And uh, we will start to see uh, technologies like multi-access edge computing evolve uh, on top of these, right? Uh, now, when that happens, when you make them smaller, you also need, the, the applications that sit on top also need to change. So the applications are going to evolve to become more cloud native. Uh, and so that you know you can kind of uh, adapt them to uh, the requirements of these smaller data centers. Yeah. Yeah. And then you need to enable an ecosystem on top of which the uh, service providers can offer uh, or monetize these platforms, you know, whether it is uh, partnerships with uh, OTT players or with application development ecosystem. So those are the few things that I think we'll see in the next two to three years evolve uh, much better. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, good insights into the telco cloud, a big topic. Um, so uh, thanks for sharing those insights with, with, with us. Okay. Pleasure. Thank Pleasure. You.